boys and girls and welcome back to Miss Allen's channel. Today is Friday, May 29th, 2020. Today is also K-Day for Kindness Day. I want you guys to think of something kind and nice you can do. One of the things that would be easy is go up and give your mom a hug. That would be showing kindness. So I'd love for you guys to show some kindness today. Today I'm going to read you a book about a duck who wants to become president. Remember, president is the leader of our country. So this book is called Duck for President. And I love how we can see our flag already in the word duck. <clears throat> Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of the day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe with hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He didn't smell very good either. Does Farmer Brown look like he smells very good? I don't think so. I think he'd be stinky. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs, clean under your beds. Cows, weed the garden. Sheep, sweep the barn. Duck, take out the trash, mow the lawn, grind the coffee beans. So, since they are all living on the farm together, they had chores to do. What's one of the chores you do for your family at home? Maybe you unload the dishwasher. Maybe you have to clean up your room. Those are great ways to be kind and help your family. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint. Lint bunnies. The cows were covered in weeds. And sheep are covered in dust. And duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans because they had been doing their hard work. They're covered and stuffed now too. <sighs> Duck did not like to do chores. He didn't like picking up tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway? Thought Duck, we need an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go, election tomorrow. Like I have told you, election is where people who want to be leaders run and then everybody gets to vote on who they think should be the leader. So Duck had had enough, so he wants Farmer Brown not to be the leader of the farm anymore. I think he's going to run against him. Let's see who they pick to be the new leader of the farm. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote for Duck, a kinder gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran into the barn and found the animals registering to vote. Registration voters must, one, live on the farm, two, show valid ID, and three, be as tall as this tall. Oh, the mice weren't happy with that rule. The mice got together and protested the height requirements, so duck crossed it off. So they are all registering to make their votes. They're all going to pick between Duck and Farmer Brown. On election day, the animals filed out, filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted and the results poster was on the barn. Farmer Brown, six votes. Duck, 20 votes. So what is bigger, six or 20? 20. So Duck was new, the new leader of the farm. Running a farm is hard work. At the end of the day, each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is not fun at all. So he's ran the farm now and he's decided, mm, this isn't much fun. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for the governor. So the governor is the person who runs the whole state. Like we have a governor named Carney in our, who's our governor in the state of Delaware. He's making us all those rules to decide when we can be safe and when it's safe for us to go back to school. It says, vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. So duck's now gonna run for governor. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge. He hit the campaign trail. He visited small towns, diners. He marched in parades. He went to town meetings. He gave speeches that other ducks could understand. 
So now he's running for governor, and that's what you have to do. You got to talk to people to get them to vote for you. Mm. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in the booths and all over the state. The voters counted, and the results were posted in the local paper. Mrs. Governor, 29, or sorry, 299,999. Duck, 300,000. So Duck had won by one vote. So now he's a governor. The government, the governor decided a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the plate, the pancake pallet. The new tally was 299,999 to 300,002. The voters had spoke. Duck was officially in charge of their whole state. <clears throat> Running the state was very hard work. At the end of the day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. He had a very bad headache. Running the state is not very fun at all. That night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. So he's decided, I'm going to be the president. Remember, the president runs the whole country. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television. On election day, the voters filled out ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted and the results were announced on CNN. <clears throat> Mr. President, 50,546,165 to Ducks, 170, won by five votes. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. The new tally was 165 to 180. The voters had spoken. Ducks were officially in charge. So now Duck was the president of the United States. <clears throat> Running the country was very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secure, so secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running the country is no fun at all, Duck thought. Here's the presidential seal that we talked about before with the... Um, eagle on it and here's the oval office the office in the white house where the president lives then he checked help wanted ads duck needed no experience needed must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans hmm sounds like his old job at the farm duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm at the end of each day Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography or his book. The end. Duck found out in the end that working so hard isn't so fun at all and maybe he should just be a duck on a farm. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. When we get back, it will be a new month of June. I love you and miss you and hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.